In October 2020, Google made selling on its shopping platform free, opening up spaces like these. And these, for online retailers around the world. If you run a WooCommerce store, stick around to learn how you can get your products in front of more relevant crowds for free, quickly and easily. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Google Shopping is a service that allows consumers to search for, compare, and shop for physical products from various online retailers. They are essentially the suggestions you get when you search for physical products on Google. Consumers can also head to the Shopping tab and browse a larger range of such products. The link to the product in the store, along with the price, rating, and other details are provided. When a consumer has chosen an item, they can head straight to its online store and make the purchase. The products can also appear in the Images tab along with other image results. Consumers can identify them using the product tag in the bottom left. The items on this page are a mix of sponsored and free results. And this is where WooCommerce retailers like you can get your products listed for free. To get into the sponsored results, you need to upload a list of your products, regularly update the product details, link your Google AdWords account, and create a Google Shopping campaign. However, getting into free listings doesn't require an AdWords campaign. You just need to opt into it while creating a product feed. You need to sign up for a Google Merchant Center account to get your products featured in Google Shopping results. Just head to the link in the description and click Get Started to sign up with an existing Google account. The next step in the sign up process requires your business information. Enter your business name, its country of operation, and its associated time zone. Next, we will choose the first option since it's more applicable to our WooCommerce store. Finally, we'll complete few other simple steps and click Create Account. Our Google Merchant Center account is ready. Click Add Product Data to use the free listings feature. Choose the See All Methods option under Upload Multiple Products. We now have three steps to create a product feed. A product feed is data from your online store inventory like description and photo that's uploaded to Google to automatically create ads and listings showcasing your products. Select the country of sale, and the language of the feed. Below, enable the free listings option so that Google Shopping can showcase your products there. We need to set a name for the product feed. And choose an input method below. We've pretty quickly set up a product feed for Google Shopping's free listings. Now we'll find an easy way to add and maintain the products using a free plugin. Which is why we'll select the scheduled fetch option as it automates the process and eliminates the time and effort required to update the product list. Click continue. Enter the name of the file in which names and details of your products are entered. Here, you'll set the frequency at which Google Merchant Center will fetch details from the product list file on your website. We'll set it at midnight every day. Next, we need the file URL of the products list. Let's head over to our website and create one. We'll be using the Alex WooCommerce Google Shopping plugin to automate the process. You can download the free plugin from the link in description. After installing the plugin, head to its settings to create a feed. Add a project name and description for your reference. Below, you can choose to include variations, select a default category, and assign a file format. The next option lets us choose the refresh schedule. We'll select a time just before our scheduled fetch time on Google Merchant Center. This means the file will be updated with the latest details at 11 p.m. and will get fetched to the Google Shopping results at midnight every day. Click Save and Continue. It's mandatory to map at least one of your WooCommerce product categories with a Google category that's available in the Google Taxonomy. You can search for the right category using these fields. In the Map Product tab, you can also map individual products to Google's default product categories. 
click save and continue when you're done. You also need to match Google's default attributes with those in your WooCommerce store. Though most have been set by default by the plugin, you can edit them using these buttons. Note that product ID, product title, the product link, the main image link, and the price are the minimum attributes required to show your inventory for free on Google. However, mapping as many attributes as possible is advised for best results. Finally, you can choose specific products to be excluded from your product feed. When you're finished, click Generate Feed. Our product feed has been generated. Copy its URL to your clipboard. Then head back to the Google Merchant Center where we left off and paste the link in the file URL field. And click Create Feed. Our Google Shopping feed has been set up. Soon, consumers will be able to find your products in their search results and the shopping tab. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.